Hi everyone, it's Rachel here at the Springs Preserve and we are celebrating World Turtle Day here with my friend Mojave Max. And now Mojave Max is actually a desert tortoise, but he is celebrating World Turtle Day. That may seem odd to you, but tortoises are in fact a kind of turtle. Um, we like to say that all tortoises are turtles, but not all turtles are tortoises. So the difference really between them is where they live uh, as far as land or water. Turtles generally tend to be associated with water. So things like snapping turtles or sea turtles, box turtles, um, red-eared sliders, those guys are all turtles. They live in around water and they have webbed toes usually or feet that help them swim. Tortoises live on land like here in the desert and they have feet that are good for walking and claws that are good for digging. So you see he's got nice flat walking feet back here. In the wild here, animals need three things to survive in our desert. And Mojave Max and other desert tortoises like him are fantastic desert survivors. They're actually our state reptile, which I think is kind of fun. And they're such good survivors because they're able to find three things. They're able to find food, water, and shelter. Now you see Max is eating flowers. And so food for them is some kind of a plant material because they are herbivores. So he would find flowers like our desert willow that we've got here. He might find cactus fruit or cactus pads, grasses or forbs. They're pretty opportunistic and they're good at finding food in their area. Uh, water wise, these guys are actually really great at sensing when it's gonna rain. So they're very good about knowing that the humidity is changing or the barometric pressure is changing. And that lets them know when it's gonna rain and they'll go to an area where it has a shallow depression where water is going to pool up and they'll take a nice big drink of water. Their bladders are specialized in that they can actually hold water just like a water bottle and that allows them to take a big drink in the rainy times and take advantage of that rain and then hold it in their bladder for months and months. Now what that means for them is that they have this nice supply of water held inside. But the problem with that maybe that lies in when we go out there and we see desert tortoises in the wild and we wanna pick them up and we wanna visit with them and, and we really wanna say hi. But their defense mechanism when they're feeling threatened is actually to let that water all go or pee all over you. And so it sounds gross, right? Um, it's pretty yucky, it smells bad and it does not nice. I can say that from personal experience but it's actually dangerous for our tortoise friends. And that is because they may not be able to find water again for a little while. And that could be dangerous for their survival in the desert. The third thing that I said they needed was shelter. And these guys are fantastic diggers. They do a great job digging burrows here in the desert and their burrows provide a fantastic temperature break in the summer and in the winter. Max just emerged from brumation back in April on the 15th. And brumation is just reptile hibernation. And what that means is that he slept all winter long when it was too cold out. And now he's out here with us and he got out just in time to help us celebrate World Turtle Day. And for Max and I, I hope you guys have a great day and happy World Turtle Day.